The accusations that the Prime Minister used the Nova, Nova Scotia mass shooting to advance his political agenda are extremely troubling. We believe Superintendent Darren Campbell when he says that Commissioner Lucky pressured the RCMP to reveal certain information. We also believe that it's possible the Commissioner was, was pressured by the PMO and Public Safety Minister's office. These Liberals have a pattern of interfering in investigations to advance their political agenda, just like we saw in SNC-Lavalin. Will the government commit today to a full and open and transparent investigation to get to the bottom of this. Well, Minister of Emergency Preparedness. Speaker, the independence of law enforcement operations is a key principle of our democracy, and it's one that our government deeply respects and one that I have always defended. At no point, Mr. Speaker, did our government pressure or interfere in the operational decisions of the RCMP. And I would take the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to direct the members to the Commissioner's statement from yesterday, in which he makes it very clear that there was no interference. The member, or sorry, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, somebody is not telling the truth, and it is not Superintendent Darren Campbell. Mr. Speaker, he did not just experience this differently. We know the Liberals have a track record of interfering in investigations when it's to their advantage, and when they're caught, they deny, then they deflect, and then they blame. It's sickening to think that they're using the worst mass shooting in Canadian history for political gain, but it is very possible. We need to get to the truth on this, Mr. Speaker. Again, I'm going to ask the minister, I'm going to ask the government, will they commit to a full and an open investigation? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to share with the members opposite the, the, the truth. And in fact, yesterday, the Commissioner of the RCMP released a statement in which she said, and I quote, the important, it is important to note that the sharing of information and briefings with the Minister of Public Safety are necessary, particularly during a mass shooting on Canadian soil. This is standard procedure and does not impact the integrity of ongoing investigations or interfere with the independence of the RCMP. And she, she concludes, and this is important, Mr. Speaker, I take the principle of police independence extremely seriously, and it has been and will continue to be fully respected in all interactions. On the South Shore, St. Margaret. A mass murder of 22 of my fellow Nova Scotians and an unborn child being used as a liberal gun control wedge is disgusting, obscene, and an insult to the victims and their families. The detailed investigative notes of RCMP officers, which are being, will be used in court, state political interference into this mass murder. They were contradicted by the public safety minister and the commissioner of the RCMP. Who's telling the truth? The RCMP investigators or the Liberal politicians trying to interfere in the investigation? Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd like again to direct my honourable colleague to the Commissioner's statement, which I believe speaks for itself. The decision as to what information will be publicly disclosed regarding any investigation, as well as all operational matters, lies always and solely with the police. But, but, Mr. Speaker, let me also take the opportunity to acknowledge that the 2020 mass shootings in Nova Scotia has devastated families and communities, and, and particularly those families and loved ones of the 22 individuals that lost their lives. We should all keep them in our thoughts. Honourable Member for Cumberland Colchester. Mr. Speaker, many in Nova Scotia are already concerned about the proceedings of the Mass Casualty Commission. Superintendent Campbell testified, and I quote, the Commissioner said she had promised the Minister of Public Safety and the Prime Minister's office that the RCMP would release this information. The Commissioner then said that we didn't understand that this was tied to pending gun control legislation. Mr. Speaker, 22 individuals and an unborn baby died in my riding during this tragedy. We believe Superintendent Campbell does the Minister. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and as I said, I've had never had a conversation uh, with the superintendent, but the commissioner who did released a statement in which he said, it's important to note that the sharing of information and briefings with the Minister of Public Safety are both necessary and particularly during a mass shooting on Canadian soil. This is standard procedure. It does not impact the integrity of any ongoing investigation or interfere with the independence of the RCMP. And she concluded, I take the principle of police independence extremely seriously, and it has been and will continue to be fully respected in all interactions. 
Member for Cumberland Colchester. Mr. Speaker, this Liberal government has somehow managed to use politics to interfere with a cross border police investigation. They hoped it would advance their potential gun control legislation. This interference further undermined the public confidence in the police investigation as to how the killer managed to obtain and smuggle illegal drugs, dr guns into Canada. How long after this tragedy did the minister discuss the gun legislation and the resulting order in council, which happened 10 days later, with Commissioner Lucky? Good question. Minister of Emergency Preparedness. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and I would remind the member that we actually campaigned in 2019 on our promise to Canadians that we would strengthen gun control and that we would ban assault-style rifles. Mr. Speaker, we, in, in, in May of 2020, 2020, we kept that promise. But, Mr. Speaker, the independence of law enforcement operations remains a key principle of our democracy. It's one our government has always respected and one that I have always defended. Mr. Speaker, at no point did our government pressure or interfere in any of the operational decisions of the RCMP. The Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's becoming increasingly clear why this government wanted to have a secret inquiry on this. In a statement yesterday, RCMP Commissioner Brenda Lucky did not deny that she promised the Minister of Emergency Preparedness that she would release information surrounding the Nova Scotia mass shooting. People are not in the habit of making promises unless they're asked to do so. Did the Minister of Emergency Preparedness or his staff at any time ask the Commissioner to publicly release information regarding the Nova Scotia mass shooting, yes or no? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The very short answer to the member's uh, question is no. And, and, and finally, I would, I would point out again to the, to the Commissioner's statement in which she said, I take the principle of police independence extremely seriously, and it has been and will continue to be fully respected in all interactions. Mr. Speaker, that's the facts. The Honourable Member for Red Deer Lacombe. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister has gone from inappropriately interfering with prosecutions to interfering with police investigations. To this Prime Minister, the murder of 22 people isn't tragedy, but political opportunity. Superintendent Campbell made it clear. The Commissioner said she had promised the Minister of Public Safety and the Prime Minister's office that the RCMP would release this information. The Commissioner then said that we didn't understand and that this was tied to pending gun control legislation. Will the NDP Liberal government allow the Public Safety Committee to fully investigate this shocking revelation? The Honourable Minister for Emergency Preparedness. And, and again, Mr. Speaker, I would point out to the, to the member the statement that it was actually issued by the Commissioner of the RCMP, in which she made it crystal clear. In which she made it crystal clear. Order. Order. Yes, they are different. Throwing names back and forth from both sides is not going to solve the problem. I'm going to ask both sides to take a deep breath and we'll let the minister respond from the top, please. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the opportunity to take a breath. Please let me reiterate that the decision as to how or when the police will release information lies with the police and the police alone. This was not a matter that the government in any way interfered with or extracted any promises for. I remind the members that the, of the Commissioner's statement, in which he's made it equally clear that there was no interference in this case. And, and so those are the facts, and, and that's what I've shared with this House. The Honourable Member for Red Deer Lacombe. Mr. Speaker, multiple sources from the RCMP are accusing this government of political interference that risks police investigations into a tragic mass shooting. Leah Scanlon from the RCMP Communications is quoted as saying, the Commissioner releases a body count that we don't even have. It was all political pressure. That is 100% Minister and Prime Minister, end quote. Canadians aren't buying the Minister's excuse as he desperately tries to cover for the Prime Minister and save both their careers. If the NDP Liberals have nothing to hide, will they support the committee's investigation of this egregious political interference? The Honourable Minister. 
Uh, again, Mr. Speaker, I would advise the members that there was no interference. At no point did our government pressure or interfere in the operational decisions of the RCMP. It's been very clearly articulated in the Commissioner's statements from yesterday. But, Mr. Speaker, let me also add, Canadians, including those which were directly impacted by this, this tragedy, have expressed great concern about how and when the RCMP shared information with the public, and that is precisely why, Mr. Speaker, we specified in the order of reference for the Mass Casualty Commission that they examine the communications approach taken both during and after the event. That's the work of the Mass Casualty Commission, Mr. Speaker. That's the, week, the work that we will depend upon. Le député...